I'm constantly collecting daguerreotypes and other old photographs that I can scan and use. I still see them as wonderful antique people that can tell their own stories. I like the idea that the people have a very ethereal, dreamlike quality to me. When I look at them and I see particularly the women in the dark dresses or the men in the rather fancy suits with the bow ties and the big collars, I see them as characters from a novel from, of a non-specific era. And then I'm collecting junk and things from the garden or whatever other things. And sometimes I use little dead things like a dead bird or butterfly wings or things that I found in the yard. I like the idea of including animals right along with the people in my work, whether it's a person who has turned into a bird or some other animal. And I just like the playful and also mythological implications of that kind of thing. I'm often just like juggling things around trying to find out what makes sense in a particular image and it might just be an animal. I want it to be a really cohesive visual space that is like inviting the viewer in, almost as if you're looking at a painting. People can look at it and digest it and make sense of the narrative in some way, and then it brings up their own personal associations. One of the things that I do with the camera is go out and collect background elements to add textures and add a sense of space to something. to photograph clouds and different kinds of weather, particularly on this big, flat, horizontal Florida landscape. There's a good place nearby where I can take a walk and take my camera, and it's different every time you go there. You don't know whether it's going to be all plain blue sky or there might be little storybook puffy clouds or it might be a really stormy day. One of the toughest things with working with the computer is that you could just keep going back to the same thing, you know, day after day and changing it and finessing it and coming up with something completely different every day. For me, I work on something for usually at least a few weeks, if not a month, and in some cases three months or four months. But when I get to the point that I've made a print and then I've gone back and looked at the print and evaluated it and worked some more and made another print, then I know I'm getting kind of close to being finished with it. I always need other people's input, so mainly Jerry looks at my work. You've done nice modeling on the face. I think you've worked out the sky nice, the transition there, and the tree has kind of glow to it. And you've rounded out her face. I think that looks good. There's just more tone in her hair now. Yeah, she's so done. Great, yeah. We're both image makers and we get suggestions uh, from each other. Once the image starts, then it's interesting to get input because sometimes it's like you can't see the forest for the trees sort of thing. He knows this tree looks really too big for that landscape or this object, you have the wrong perspective on it. It needs to be warped this way or that way or this one thing is way too light in the landscape or this is way too dark. So he can usually look at things sort of from a totally different perspective than I'm looking at them when I'm sitting staring at them all day in the computer.
don't feel like I have to consider myself anything except an image maker. I don't really feel the need to categorize my work and in terms of whether it's photography or not, or whether it's surrealism or not. I sort of feel like all of that is up to art historians or critics or someone who has to write about it. For me, the most essential thing is just to keep up the energy to keep making art and keep having ideas that I want to translate into visual images.